In this example, we want to find the critical numbers for the function of x equals to x to the 4 fifths times x minus 6 to the power 2. So critical numbers is where the derivative is equal to 0 and also or the possibility where the derivative of the function is equal is, is, not, is not defined. Okay. So first, we're, what we're going to do here is we're going to set this function, we're going to set the derivative of this function equal to 0. So we're going to have f prime of x. So we're going to need to use the product rule here. Okay, so we have x to the 4 fifths okay, times the derivative of x minus 6 squared plus x minus 6 squared times the derivative of x to the 4 fifth. Okay, so first, so the first function times the derivative with respect to x of the second function plus the second function times the derivative of the first function with respect to x. Okay, so we can go ahead and take the derivatives of those components. Okay, so we're going to get x to the 4 fifths times, okay, the derivative of this is going to be 2 times x minus 6 to the power 1, and then the derivative of the inside part. So that's coming from the chain rule for derivatives. Okay, and then we have plus x minus 6 squared times the derivative of this. So that's going to be 4 fifths times x to the 4 fifths minus 1. Okay, so we can go ahead and simplify this. This is going to be x to the 4 fifths times 2 times x minus 6. Uh, the derivative of x minus 6 is just 1. So plus x minus 6 squared times 4 fifths x to the negative 1 fifth. Okay. All right, so now we can go ahead and uh, we have our derivative, so we can go ahead and set this equal to 0. Okay. Okay, so we're going to have x to the 4 fifths times, we'll go ahead and put the 2 on the outside. So we have 2 times x to the 4 fifths times x minus, x minus 6 plus uh, this one we can rewrite as 4 x uh, so 4 times x minus 6 squared all divided by uh, 5 times x to the 1 fifth so we can put the x to the negative 1 fifth into the denominator okay so we want to set this equal to 0 okay All right, so now what we can do here, um, so basically now we're just using some algebra to solve for this, um, to solve for this equation. So I'm going to go ahead and multiply both sides by uh, 5x to the 1 fifth. So I'm just going to go ahead and multiply through. Okay, because we have this 5x to the 1 fifth in a denominator, so uh, I want to basically clear out the fractions, okay? And we can do that by multiplying both sides by 5x to the 1 fifth. Okay, so from here, uh, we're going to get, so we have 5 times 2, which is going to give us 10, and then x to the 1 fifth times x to the 4 fifth, that's just x to the power of 1, and then times x minus 6, um, and then this part is going to leave us with 4 times x minus 6 squared, equals to zero okay all right so now uh, we can go ahead and uh, factor out x minus six and go ahead and factor out two so we have two times x minus six that's going to leave us with uh, five x plus four times x minus six 
Oh, well, factor out two, so that actually that's going to give us two. The value of two here. Okay. Okay, so uh, we can uh, we have our two factors. Okay, we have this one and this one. We can go ahead and set each of those equal to zero. Over here, we're going to get x equals to let's see six. Okay. So we get x minus six equals to zero. So we have x equals six. Over here, we're going to get uh, uh, so we have 5x plus 2x minus 12 equals 0. So that's going to leave us with 10x. I'm sorry. Uh, 7, see, 7x. Okay. Equals to. So I'm going to go ahead and write like this. So 7x minus 12 equals to 0. So that will give us x equals to 12 sevenths. Okay. So those are the solutions um, that we get for setting the derivative equal to zero. But remember, the critical number can also be where the derivative is not defined. Okay, so if we, if we go back up here, okay, right at this point here, okay, right, if x was zero, that would make this derivative, right, that would make this derivative undefined. Okay, so when x is 0, f prime of x is undefined. So technically, this is also a critical number. And it's also in the domain of our original function. So remember, the critical number must be in the domain of the in order. It must be in the domain of the original function as well. So x equals zero is in the domain, and the derivative of f is not defined at zero. Okay. So we have three critical points here. Okay. So we have x equals to six. X equals to twelve sevenths, and x equals to zero. Okay, so those are our critical numbers. Okay, so we have three of them. Okay.